So a family affair is Netflix's delayed Christmas movie from last year due to the strikes. And I am just a little bit disappointed by this movie. I mean, it is watchable and I do enjoy pretty much quite a lot of different genres, but I was just expecting so much more from this movie, especially as it's got three of Hollywood's strongest actors associated with the project. And they do as good of a job as they can do given the script, but unfortunately this does let them down. I mean, like I said, it does have a couple of decent watchable moments and I'll elaborate on some of them in a minute but we first have to start with all of the negatives so firstly the world is just so dull i mean some tv shows that have a bit of a light-hearted comedic stance are so much more vibrant than this movie which was just so disappointing and then secondly i'm sorry i just have to say that nicole kidman and zac efron despite how much they tried just have next to zero chemistry and so it just wasn't any way believable at all and they very much just didn't make any sense and in turn it just felt so forced and then thirdly I feel like they tried to pack in so much meta humour and I think it's fine sometimes to have a movie set in Hollywood which is quite cool but I just feel like they could have done it in a much more impressive way and some of the humour just did not land for example just forcing Chris's surgery comments based on all of the comments that Zac Efron does receive about his surgery. So let's go through all of the actors one by one. So first of all, I feel like Joey King, even though all three of them are billed as co-leads, I feel like Joey King out of the three of them just feels like a slightly bigger main protagonist. And I absolutely loved her reaction to when she first witnessed her mother sleeping with her boss, which I just thought was so believable. And I feel like she carried that scene in such an impressive way. And also I feel like her arc across this movie is really, really good. As like I said, you definitely are with this character. And I feel like her best friend Eugene just called out how self-obsessed she is in such a good way that it really was a bit of a reality check and shock for her. And I feel like people can relate to this because they are so self-obsessed within their own particular worlds that sometimes they do take their friends and other people for granted and just think everything is about them, especially with the way in which social media is these days. So I feel like that meta-social commentary actually was pretty good. You're definitely the most connected with Joey King Zara character. As like I said, I feel like she leads this movie in a really good way and you're definitely with her throughout and I feel like her career journey is also pretty relatable. The fact that she is trying so hard to keep everything together, the fact that she has just had enough of this horrible boss and sometimes when kids do think that they know more than their parents, I feel like that was explored quite well here as well. And also, out of all of them, she has the most dramatic moments and I feel like her reactions we're actually really good. So I feel like Joey King, she definitely does show from all of her movies that she has been in so far that she has definitely got such a strong career ahead of her. I thought Zac Efron's performance as superstar Chris Cole was fine. I feel like he definitely could have gone so much bigger with this role and this script could have allowed him to really explore the rich lifestyle that Chris is definitely accustomed to. But I feel like they just did not do any of that. Zac Efron was fine with some of the humorous moments that this character has and a couple of them were really good. You're definitely laughing as an audience member but most of them were a little bit flat and I feel like Zac Efron just could have given so much more in his performance. Maybe all of the comments, speaking of social media, all anybody is talking about as far as Zac Efron's performance is concerned, especially on TikTok if you look at the videos about this movie, is about his face and all of his plastic surgery so I wonder if that has just really gotten to him. As you could see with his performance, he just wasn't giving his all. And similarly, I just feel like with Nicole Kidman, her performance was fine as well. I feel like there definitely could have been so many more layers. She could have definitely shown more of her acting range. She just felt very flat, very monotone. And this character was nice. She was a decent mother, somebody that you really want to be friends with. But I just feel like you could have just explored so much more with her. And I was a little bit unsure about the decision that they made about her deceased husband about really exploring the fact that they had a bit of a fractured marriage to use this as a storyline, as a method of allowing her daughter and her mother-in-law to be happy with the fact that she is now exploring a relationship with Chris. So I was a bit unsure about whether or not that was the right thing to do from a script perspective, but you know, alas, they did it and I feel like it did kind of work. So ultimately, I feel like A Family Affair is the definition of a streaming movie. And if it didn't have the three megastars attached to the project, it would not be half as good. And this script could have and should have just been so much better. And as far as family rom-coms, I feel like there are so many better ones out there. For example, Little Italy, The Idea of You, Two Weeks Notice, Father of the Bride, so many better ones out there. And I'm just really disappointed actually with a family affair as it could have and should have been so much better. And so for all of the reasons that I've explained in this video review, I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. Now I'd love to hear from you. What did you think of a family affair? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.